going to start with uh, our colleagues from Australia. Vicky, do you want to present? Perfect. Can we go to the first slide then? So um, for those who don't know me, I'm Dr. Vicky Fan. I'm a colleague of Associate Professor Shalini Aranagiri's at Turning Point in Melbourne, Victoria in Australia, um, and I'll be filling in for her today because she's unfortunately unavailable to present to you all today. Um, so there's been success in terms of getting two of our key organisations in the Oceania region affiliated with ISAM. Um, those two key organisations are the Royal Australian New Zealand College of Psychiatrists, which all addiction psychiatrists train through and all addiction psychiatrists registrars or trainees train through in Australia and New Zealand. And similarly, for those who go through the physician pathway rather than the psychiatry pathway to become addiction medicine specialists, the Royal Australasian College of Physicians has also become affiliated with ISAM. So again, all our Australian New Zealand doctors who train to become addiction medicine specialists uh, have access to RACP and are part of RACP. Um, that's translated to lots of benefits for ISAM. We're, we're definitely noticing a lot of growing presence of Australian attendees at the ISAM conferences and in the conference program. We're getting lots of Australian presenters represented and Australian research presented, which is great. Um, and, for example, we've had Nadine Ezard present at ISAM in Malta last year. We've had Louisa Degenhart ready to present at ISAM Marrakesh last year and uh, this year, sorry, and I was recently at the ICBA conference and there was a huge Australian contingent, so that's really great to see. We'll go to the next slide, please. So I guess... Um, one thing that we wanted to, I guess, promote is that we've got a conference here in Melbourne in um, uh, late 2024 on the 23rd to 26th of September. It's the ISPRA and ASPA World Congress on Alcohol and Addictions. This is the third World Congress on uh, Alcohol and Addictions that's running. And that's uh, an opportunity to, uh, I guess, get everyone to travel from ISAM Kuala Lumpur to this because there's only one week difference between the two. Um, and I guess the local organising committee has also been in touch with ISAM KL team to, to see if there's any sort of opportunity to promote to people to attend both. Um, the ISPRA is the International Society for Biomedical Research on Alcoholism and um, ASPA is the Asia Pacific Society for Alcohol and Addiction Research. So lots of local people in the addictions field will be there. So it'd be really great to um, intermingle and, and network and, and grow those communities. So I guess plans for further growth and development in terms of improving the reach of ISAM locally in the Oceania region would be that one of our major addiction conferences in the region is the International Medicine and Addiction Conference that happens biannually, so every two years. The next one will be in Sydney, which we know is always a big airport for people to fly through internationally. Um, it has attracted 500 to 700 delegates from the region previously. Uh, I think we've even hit 1,000 at our most recent one. And it's got a, a big clinical focus, that conference. So we get lots of addiction clinicians attending that one. And we're looking at how we can collaborate with ISAM on this because it'd be really great to boost those attendance numbers even more and get people from across ISAM attending. Um, and Sydney is always a great place to visit. We're also looking at growing our affiliate organisations. So, for example, APSAD um, is our key group, professional group for those who are not doctors who are working in the addiction space. So um, lots of opportunity there to, again, grow the membership of ISAM. And that's all I've got from Oceana on behalf of Shalini. <laughs>